So if this is something that we need to be working on a daily basis and 40%, if that's where you're at, even close to it, there's something very wrong. So that's unacceptable. You've thought a lot about how do I address Asian turnover rate? What are some of your, to share with the, your peers here, what are some of your recommendations to put that proactive plan together and say, okay, if I'm going to do this and something that's important, I need to be working on every day. What are the top points? What are the things that you need to be working on? So how can we address it? That's one thing is, and, uh, and this is, I think, crucial because if, if it comes to contact center agents or customer service consultants, you need to at first address the salary. You have to make sure that you have a competitive salary span in your company. Compare yourself to other departments in your company and compare yourself to your competitors. What are they willing to pay? If you pay $5,000, $10,000 less than your main competitor, you will always lose your people, your best people to them. Yeah. That's the first thing. So make sure that where is your possibilities? What can you pay? What are you also willing to pay? And don't try to underpay your best people. Second, remove boring and repetitive tasks. You can do that if you analyze your processes, where are gaps? What can you do? Which systems do you need to make agents' lives easier? And what you can also do is you can use the benefits of artificial intelligence and AI might help us in a variety of, of ways when it comes to customer service. It can help you with addressing the right messages to your customer automatically. When it comes to use cases you have, let's say build the top 10 use cases and you say, look, do this. We have this answer to this, we have that. And you, you free your agents up from all these repetitive tasks and everything that is like, I typed the same mail for the third time today. And in doing so, you free up space, you free up resources. And what you shouldn't do, like in cost center, thinking you would not reduce people, but you shouldn't do that. You should use this free resources to become proactive and to understand your customer. What are the needs? Where can you find things or a situation that a customer will face in, let's say, 10 days or two weeks? And you can do something now so that the customer doesn't see that or face that in two weeks. It can be anything. It can be like you need more budget to go on with your product or in two weeks, your lifespan will end. And what can we do now already? Or maybe you cannot be as happy with your product as you should be if we would do this and that you would adjust something, you could be even happier. So anything that helps to be more proactive and AI is a big helping factor here. But sometimes it is perceived as a danger or a threat to jobs when it comes to contact center. It can be a real help because it frees up resources that are so desperately needed. Let me ask you a question on that, that it can be seen as a threat to contact centers, right? But part of what you were saying there is don't reduce staff, right? Just use AI to make them more proactive, more productive, and to take away some of those mundane, boring tasks that nobody wants to do, right? That will lead to their job satisfaction, right? And address overall all of this to address the turnover rate. But what is your view? Is AI going to replace agents or is AI just going to empower agents? But you would always still need that live agent. Where do you land on that? When it comes to Stepson, I can tell you we will take the, the second. We will say AI will empower our agents to do a better proactive customer service or even customer success work. I believe that some companies might think I can make AI 40, 50% of my use cases here. So 40 or 50% of my staff is not needed anymore. And I think that would be the wrong decision because just to go back to the beginning, what we talked about, if I am able to get boring and mundane use cases out of my agent's hands and I make space for proactive services, for proactive impulses to my customers to try to influence the motivational factor, something that is not expected, something that is surprising and cool. If I make, if I do this, then I influence the net promoter score because the net promoter score will not be influenced by, I had an issue and Steve McDonald will help me, right? This is not where this KPI suddenly goes skyrocketing. It goes skyrocketing. And if you do something that your competitors don't do, in order to do, you need time, you need space, you need the skills, you need to have the right mindset, you need time for that. And if you have time for that, you can think of something that makes your customer happy. And this is where it all gets together. This is where it all makes sense in total. The right people with the right skills, time, no stupid and boring tasks to do, like one, two, three hours per day that you can invest on your customer. 